thought I would address the elephant in the room first. Remember when I said in the title, uh, final video of August yesterday, for those six people that are three people that watched my yesterday's video. What I meant to say in the title was final video of August 21st. Uh, so you're wondering, that is this September? He's back quick. No, what I meant to say, final video of August 21st. So yeah, well, well, basically I had an off day yesterday. I want this wrestling ranking videos complete. Uh, it's still 2020, unfortunately. So even if I wanted to go and do something else, I can't because I, I, I live in the most boring city at the moment in Scotland where we've uh, been in a local lockdown again. So yeah, I, there's literally not much I can do. I don't play games. I'm certainly not going to get Netflix now. Never used Netflix, never will. He has more videos than subscribers. He barely gets any views, but that don't matter. This is not my job. I'm simply here to talk about fake fights. Simply here to entertain. 11 years in a row. It's the Paul Michael DB show. Hello guys. Just thought I'd make a quick video to say I give up. I officially give up. In Your House 16 Canadian Stampede took place July 6th from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. According to Dave Meltzer, this was the greatest major show of 1997. Not the greatest show, of course, uh, no doubt. Uh, uh, his favourite show would have been something that happened in the Tokyo Dome. Was it a great show? Well, the main event was great. It featured... Uh, Gigantic 10-man tag featuring Stone Cold Steve Austin teaming up with Ken Jamrock, teaming up with Goldust and LOD. That's an awesome team right there. They took on an awesome team. The Hart Foundation, every single member, Bret Hart, Owen Hart, the British Bulldog, Jim the Anvil Nightheart, and Brian Pillman. It had everything you want in a wrestling match. There was a great atmosphere throughout, hot crowd, the main event delivered but can you award a show that really just has one great matchup the rest of the card really wasn't that memorable but i i've got a hand i've got to agree with dave if he's going with the main event alone this was a fantastic wrestling show No more play scheme. That's it. SummerSlam 1997 took place August 3rd, 1997. That would have been my sister's birthday. Um, it was held at the Continental Airlines Arena. This, uh, as I was going through all these wrestling pair per views, this one was top of my rankings for a while. One of the greatest. Summer Slams of all time, one of the greatest pay-per-views of all time, featured one of the greatest main events of all time. Bret Hart versus The Undertaker with special guest referee Shawn Michaels had everything and then some. Loved it. It didn't feel forced. The whole ending was done to perfection. Something you don't see in wrestling at all these days. Everything's overwritten, overscripted. This whole setup with Shawn Michaels getting spat on and going to nail Bret Hart, nails The Undertaker with the steel chair, Bret Hart wins, Shawn Michaels has the count to three, the fans are furious. Also there was a very decent steel cage match to open up the show, Mankind taking on Triple H. We had Ken Jamrock taking on the Bulldog, Ken Jamrock snapping on the Bulldog, all memorable stuff. Austin Owen Hart was a very, very good match up until they botched Tombstone Piledriver that really, well, it broke Steve Austin's neck for real. This wasn't a part of the storyline and it would uh, alter his life and uh, wrestling. Wrestling 
changed after this. And arguably Austin got even more popular with the way they had to write him in the shows. But uh, overall, I have very memorable, for right or wrong reasons, tremendous main event with three of the best ever involved. Um, what more could you ask for? Memorable, good wrestling, great characters, great stuff.